Running to the Future aims to reduce childhood obesity in Prince George's County, Maryland by teaching first and second grade children about the importance of fitness. The population we'll be working with comes from Capitol Heights Elementary School and Bladingsburg Elementary School. The epidemic of childhood obesity has begun to sweep across the nation. Using the body mass index chart, being overweight for children falls in the 85th to 94th percentile and being obese falls into the 95th percentile or higher. Approximately 12.7 million or 17% of children and adolescents between the age of 2 and 19 in the United States are obese. In the state of Maryland, approximately 31.6% of its residents between the ages of 10 and 17 are either overweight or obese, putting Maryland as the 21st state with the highest rate of childhood obesity. In Prince George's County, 28.6% of school-aged children are obese compared to the 22.3% for the state of Maryland. This is why we decided to focus on this specific county. Ultimately, through Running to the Future, the goal is to curb childhood obesity in the Bladensburg and Capitol Heights areas of Prince George's County to improve the quality of life and subsequently decrease the prevalence and future incidence of obesity. We aim to increase the self-efficacy of children aged 6 to 8 and their ability to be physically active and improve their academic standing. In the short term, we want to increase positive attitudes towards exercise in our target population as well as increase familial support and the children's efforts to be physically active. By program end, at least 70% of children 6 to 8 will report increased familial support to get fit and at least 50% of children will report an increase in positive attitudes towards exercise. In the medium term, increasing participation in physical activities will aid in the effort to curtail childhood obesity. By program end, at least 70% of children will engage in more physical activities. The Activity Burst in the Classroom, or ABC Fitness Program, determined that the amount of physical activities that students get in school is not enough and needs to be improved. Their focus was to provide a fun, simple, and effective program that advocates and encourages physical activity in the classroom by chunking it into short sessions without decreasing or interrupting time dedicated to teaching. Three schools in Missouri were assigned to be a part of the ABC for Fitness program, with two additional schools being used as the control. At the end of the study, there was a correlation between students receiving ABC for Fitness and improved fitness, decreased behavioral problems, decreased medication use for asthma, and a 33% reduction in overall prescriptions for ADHD in comparison to students in the control group. Based on this, physical activity helped assuage many health issues facing those particular students and communities. Our program, Running to the Future, is modeled after ABC for Fitnesses physical activity curriculum with a modification turning it into an after-school program, an opportunity to get extra help on schoolwork as well as providing healthy snacks for the students. Our program's target population is African American and Hispanic students between the ages of 6 and 8. Due to the demographic distribution in Capitol Heights and Bladensburg, we will provide all information for parents in both English and Spanish. Our program, Running to the Future, is overseen by the Center of Health Disparities located within the Prince George's County Health Department. Beginning in June, we are looking to recruit a total of 200 students from the two elementary schools. Participants will be recruited by giving the students newsletters and flyers to take home, having school teachers and the health educator attend PTA meetings to talk about the program, as well as emails that will be sent out to parents of the students in those grade levels. Additionally, the program will be posted on the school website for those who do not receive the materials in any other form. Once the program starts, the weight and height of each participant will be taken. This data will be useful when analyzing the effectiveness of the program. 
our program will be utilizing class standard number six. We will be informing potential participants of the language assistance that is offered. We will also have all written materials in both Spanish and English, as well as attested for readability. During our PTA meetings, we will have a translator present. Running to the future. Let's curb childhood obesity together.